Well, I choose environmental sciences because I think I was always interested in the subject of natural sciences, but I couldn't really pick one. So I couldn't really just go with chemistry or physics or mathematics or geology. So um, environmental sciences covers a lot of like sub levels of this natural science topics. So um, you will come across and apply chemistry, physics and maths at the same time, but you also need to um, learn a little bit of politics and business and um, management, which you can't really do if you just go into chemistry. So it's give you a really broad understanding and a lot of space to wiggle, <laughs> you know, to find what you're really interested in. And it's just great to follow your passion. Describing a day is a bit difficult because one day you will find yourself in a lecture room, one day you will be in a bog land in the middle of nowhere in the Wicklow mountains and one day you will be in a laboratory covered with chemicals around you. So um, it's hard to define but um, it's very exciting. It's intensive but it gives you a lot of skills for the future. So joining this course it was the variety of models you come across because um, you will learn about hydrology and climate change, but you will also learn about sustainable mining, which is really important for our future generation. But you're also going to come across um, statistics and remote sensing, developing hard skills that are essential for our, your future career and you can apply them in the future. I think this course is outstanding because you cover so many areas that you can truly find your passion and what you want to do in the future. I would choose my favorite model, um, the environmental monitoring, because it starts on week one in the lecture hall. So you get a fundamental um, understanding what you need to do on week, uh, the second week when you go on the field. And what we did was uh, collecting water samples from a river daughter from the source to mouth. And on the week three, we went to laboratory, analyzed our water samples. And as a final assignment on the final week, we had to write a proper scientific report. So it gives you all together as a model, a really solid theoretical knowledge and understanding, but you also gain fieldwork skills laboratory skills and writing skills. So these are all skills what you can later on use in your CV and your um, future career path. Okay. Done with this course, you can go into industry or policy making or server for the governments or you can go into academia. And I choose the latest one. I decided to carry on with my, um, PhD, uh, with my life uh, to do a PhD. So uh, I got an opportunity to do a PhD here at Trinity College Dublin um, in geochemistry. I like that the course really develop your hard skills but also your soft skills. Um, you will be very good at time management by the end, which people really underestimate, but it's an essential skill. You, have, you will have an excellent writing skills because many of the assignments needs to be handed in in um, like a writing for, written form. And you will for sure find your um, specific interest within environmental science because it's a really broad um, definition if you think about it. Um, so um, you will definitely come across one single moment when you say like, all right, I want to do something in sustainable mining. But even within that, you might want to do something with geochemistry, like I choose, or you go and decide to make something different in sustainable mining in regard of policy. So um, it's definitely a really mind shaping course and I highly recommend it for everyone because it's an excellent intensive year.